Holler if you hear me, and welcome to today's edition of Luke Targets, because the revolving door of excuses by people with no real reason to live other than to reinforce deranged ideology and trying to project it all onto a video game that is actually being successful in a franchise that people with actual money to spend on items actually like, and it's a hobby that people enjoy doing in their free time, are going to be, of course, now getting another impotent attack from somebody whose life is being a game journalist, so thus he is not only a waste of space, a waste of life, but a criminal ideologue who, like all game journalists, belong in federal prison. By their own logic, by them incessantly attacking people like that, by incessantly lying, by incessantly manufacturing items of quote-unquote fact from out of their empty little heads, they should be put there in prison, including this one moron who writes her rock, paper, shotgun, and I'll give you a guess of which of those three items I wish he would turn on himself, is now screaming about the imaginary fascism that he sees in a Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, mainly because unlike all of those insufferable, terrible, woke games, that he pretends to enjoy, but he only ever plays on the easiest mode he can find if he either is able to get a demo of some crap like Dustborn that nobody actually likes because, as Melanie Mac was you know, saying in a recent video, nobody wants queer games because people who play video games actually want games to be entertaining. They do not want it to have nothing more than your deranged ideology. Even people of these minority groups you pretend to care about until they disagree with you politically, like, say, if some openly gay person went out of their way to say, I like Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 because it's all about battling. It's all about for the Imperium. It's all about destroying the heretic. It has nothing to do with screeching about this forced lesbian cutscene or that forced of representation for black people and all of that. Especially, it's very rich with how there are now playable characters in for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 which are not white and which actually the real fandom of the Space Marine franchise is liking them so much that they would like to see some extent of their presence in the franchise beyond the game, like, say, maybe a tie-in book with them. The treasure trove of Warhammer tie-in books that have been out there and have been actually being bought by both people to whom, unlike this rock, paper, shotgun loser, can both read and also can buy books. Unlike him, who needs his mother's credit card to buy a soy latte that he pretty much has mainlined while he's holding his girlfriend's hand, while three well-hung Ethiopian men take turns with her, like they're recreating his favorite scene, or in her favorite scene from the film Nymphomaniac. We know these people, they are constantly, constantly wanting to go and screech about all the imaginary evils that gamers in one form or another have, but really, they almost are like a reverse of the principle of a Wicca. Considering, you know, we've got Halloween coming up, it's the time of the Festival of Sawin and all that. The idea of whatever energy you put out into the world, you get back to you twelvefold in the world of Wicca. Well, take a good long look at these type of idiots who always want to preach tolerance or how tolerant they are, but then the second they find anything that is successful despite not being a brainless little mountain of communist dogma, their first order of business is to turn to their little Antifa buddies like they always do, and that's why if you wonder, wonder why Kill Andy No has become Seattle and Portland's equivalent of Killroy was here, now you get a good idea why. These are, but of course also these people People are no different from coyotes. If you ever actually look at nature, unlike these people who know nothing about Warhammer, who know nothing about reality, who know nothing about life, they get their opinions dictated to them by Kotaku articles or by Jimmy Kimmel monologues, and both are equally powerless without the Democratic Party approved narrative to be drilled into their brain and the little heads. No wonder these are the kind of people that also know nothing about how nature works. Go out into a forest. They always tell people that don't like the woke vacation of, gar of franchises they've turned to garbage to go touch grass. Coming from people that universally live in the highest pollution centers in all of the world, in the major cities run by nothing but liberals that are now war zones that only ever get cleaned up from all the destroyed black property, the destroyed black-owned businesses, and uh, broken glass and hypodermic needles and homeless feces all over the place and homeless encampments all over the place. If a fellow communist dictator is going to be flying in, so. Get Gavin Newsom's going to make sure to clean everything up ahead of time. And if you actually were able to get them to go into a real forest, go into anywhere where there's actual grass out there, then you'll notice the way animals work. And you'll ever notice that none of their communist dogma or their gender ideology ever, ever appears in nature. You notice you don't see dolphins going around talking and now, 
and dolphin communication experts saying, oh yes, this dolphin identifies as they, them. No, you only see that shit with aging uh, DC or Marvel Comics writers who are desperate to keep themselves employed because they're white and male, and even with them having an accent from the UK, that's not going to get them gainfully employed at DC or Marvel anymore, because the olden days of just have a British accent and automatically you're considered a genius in the comic book world, well, that's not going to work anymore. Just like with how immediately screaming fascism at somebody or some franchise that dares to be successful, and you saw some fan art online on the 45th president in Imperium armor, uh, that somehow means everything that you're lying about is true, but no, you want to say that he is a sympathizer to that uh, painter from Austria? No, because that painter from Austria was, an, Austria was an avowed socialist, and so was his government, and so was his army, and so were his public works programs, and so was his welfare programs that he had that idiots like you will continue to lie about or ignore. While the man you keep accusing of being an admirer of that man, no, you're the one who admires him because you're the socialist waste of life that constantly is lying about people being undesirables that need to be removed. When, in actuality, you know that you're a deranged, easily led subversive loser that needs to be removed more like a tumor. Because wokeness is a cancer, inclusivity is a cancer, diversity, equity, inclusion is a disgusting virus that needs to be surgically removed as much as possible. And that's not my opinion. I know I'm right. So I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my ch uh, channel, hit 10,000 subs, become a member today, and shop my art store with the second link below where you can buy my art or you can commission me or you can share support with a direct donation. Or if you want to buy a commission from outside of America, simply make your payment as a donation with another donation for the international shipping handling fee. So until then, beelines, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.